Hello, welcome back to my channel. I am Simply Brentley. Don't forget to get your energy in and like, comment, and subscribe for all of your manifestation needs as well as for personals. Head on over to my website, energyllc.com. The link will be in the description box below. Okay, okay, okay. Holy Father, angels, ancestors, speak through me if I reach one person and one person alone, which I know I will, please and thank you. This is going to be for the collective. As the new year approaches, there's a lot of things that have been coming to you that you need to change. There's a lot of things that have been coming in clear where you're seeing people's faces, where you're vibrating higher, where you're, like, when I say seeing people's faces, I mean seeing people who, for who they truly are, okay? So there's a lot of people coming out of the nowhere. <laughs> there's a lot of people coming out of nowhere. There's a lot of people that are coming up to you. Anywhere you go, you're, you're being called out as far as, like, if you're just going to get some gas somebody's gonna come over there and be like can i help you with something if you're just going to get some milk at the store somebody's gonna run into you on the way to the milk aisle you know you gotta walk all the way around the store and all the stores around right here the milk is at the back so you gotta walk all the way around you may not have to go through any aisles but you have to go all the way around the store to get to the milk over there on the side okay so somebody's gonna while you're walking to your milk just minding your business somebody's gonna come up to you and you know through the way and and you know just say something make a comment ask you something something like that this is you this is who this is for you're bright you're, you're brightly shining right now there's been a lot that's coming to pass there's been a lot that you've realized and there's been a lot of signs there's been a lot of synchronicities there's been a lot of high pitch ringing in the ears okay so like i don't remember when i did this video but it was live so um if you were on that live, just put it down below. But we were talking about signs and synchronicities and things that um, we hear, things that are around us, like, you know, feathers and um, and um, your, your eyes twitching, you know, your right eye being something good, your left eye being something bad, those high-pitched ringings in your ear, which are your angels around you, letting you know that, you know, that you need to pay attention in that moment. You need to pay attention to what's going on in that moment, whether it's somebody, something on the radio or the TV in the background or something something or situation that you need to be looking at or something that you, right in front of you that you need to hear. You need to go ahead and tune into that, what's going on right now, knowing that you're protected, knowing that there, your angels are around you and guiding you and helping you and as well as your ancestors and Holy Father and just helping you to gain that knowledge and helping you to understand and make things more clear, right? So this is for this group. This is for this group that's been seeing the constant signs. This is for this group that's been seeing the constant synchronicities. This is for this group that's high, vibrating higher. This is for this group that's woke. This is for this group that knows that they know 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 that they are chosen. They are here for, the pur for a purpose that is all about unconditional love. This is for this group. That's the group I'm talking to right now, y'all. I'm coming back in here strong. <laughs> All right, so let's see what's going on. And right at the top, this stood out to me. Ask yourself. So in this, in these signs, in these synchronicities, in, in these messages that you've been receiving, there's been a lot that you've wanted to ask yourself. You're like, why? What is the purpose of all of this? Why me? It's because you're chosen. It's because you're special. It's because you're awake. Everybody's not going to be awake in this lifetime, right? I always say that. Everybody's not going to be a, awake in this lifetime, and it's, and it's okay. Because everybody's not going to realize that how much you are able to bask in the joy of life and that unconditional love. Thank your ancestors. Okay. And follow your, your heart, not your head. Okay. So some things that you may have been seeing recently, like I was saying, like, it's not going to be for everybody. That's period. Um... So, yeah, thank your ancestors. Like, be grateful to your ancestors. Go ahead and give your ancestors those offerings. Let them know because, you know, energy, it, it just never, you, you're, you're made up of energy. Your energy is not going to dissipate. So if you lost a loved one and somebody around you is no longer around you, guess what? They are still around you. Their energy is still there. They're still there to help you out, right? So go ahead and do those offerings. Go ahead and thank your ancestors. Go ahead and ask them for guidance, right? As you ask yourself, because the things that they have taught you, you're asking them as well, right? It's all together. There's been a lot of lessons that you've had to learn in your life. We have karmic. There's a lot of lessons that you've had to learn in your life. The next 48, okay? Change. 
There's something that's going to change your life within the next 48 hours. Whether that is something dramatic or not, I really don't think so, that it's going to be dramatic or drastic. It could definitely be. So let me know what it is. But definitely, I just feel like this is a higher, a higher knowledge or gain, a higher understanding of knowing that you know that you know that it's all about unconditional love and those signs and synchronicities being so damn clear that you can't ignore them and you haven't been ignoring them, but you're getting to know a better understanding of how they guide you. It's just getting more within the net. It's like getting more in sync with your spirit guides, getting more connected with the universe, getting more, you know, just getting more one with everything, right? And this could be somebody that comes and you realize that it's all about self-love, right? And, and, and you don't have any time for that shit anymore. You've changed. You, you have no time for the things that you used to have time for. And maybe you're realizing that. Maybe you're journaling. Maybe you're looking back at what you used to accept. Maybe you're looking back on what you used to take. And you're realizing, I vibrated so much higher from that. I don't have time for that, right? Anybody that's just going to be about just talking and no action... Anybody that thinks that I'm, I'm, I'm not important enough to go ahead and, you know, put that energy back into me is going to be exposed to you, right? That's going to be exposed to you because you're very gifted. You're a very gifted person. Empress, emperor, right? It's some things that you have been, um, have been wavering on, have been questioning yourself about, but there's no need to question it, right? There's no need to waver on it because you are who you are who you are. Just continue to show gratefulness. Continue to show gratefulness because you should be grateful for everything that's about to come, everything that you've already gone through and everything that you are going through because there's a lot of lessons to be learned and there's a lot of lessons that you're learning. All right, split the deck on the three of cups. Yeah, because you're going to be celebrating. You're definitely celebrating your healing, which is most important because there's a lot of unhealed souls and they're coming from a hurt place. You're coming from your heart. And that's what matters, right? That's what, that's what matters. When, you, when you're following your heart, you're out of your head. We have that here twice. Where is it at, y'all? Where is it at? Right here. And then self-love. You know? It's, it's all about following your heart. It's all about that unconditional love. It's all about knowing that you know that you know that you're giving that out. No matter what situation you're put in, you're not going to be, be in that lower vibrational unhealed energy. You're going to be positive. You're going to be... Showing that you're very much so healthy and healed mentally, physically, emotionally, all of that shit. And it's not easy. It's not easy because we have struggles every single day, right? But you're realizing four pinnacles that there was a lot of things that you were holding on to that no longer serve you. So within the next 40 hours, it could, it could definitely be some releasing some shit, some letting go of some shit that you just all of a sudden just get this big thong and it's like, Okay, I need to release this shit. I need to let go of this shit because it's not getting me anywhere and it's no longer for me, right? I, I'm only going to empress again. Empress on top of empress. Yes, yes, yes. And then magician, y'all? Then the motherfucking magician? Yes, you have everything that it takes. The tools are in your hands, right? And you're learning that you have everything that it takes to manifest everything you want, everything you need, everything you desire, everything you could ever imagine. It's all within you. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. So I cut the deck again on the full. So you definitely may be getting in your, your um, full energy, right? That full energy where you're very spontaneous, where you're knowing that there's no limitations. Yes, yes, yes. Where you're taking those leap of faith, where you're realizing that it's up to you. There's no need to be stuck. There's no need to be stagnant in certain situations that you would have years ago or even months ago or even days ago or even hours ago. No matter how long ago it was, it was in the damn past. In the past, you would allow this situation to get you down. In the past, you would allow this situation to leave you stagnant. In the past, you would have felt stagnant and not be able to move the fuck forward to your greatness. Whether it's a job, you're realizing that, hey, this is my life. I'm only treated as a number here anyway. So if I want to continue and do more with myself and learn and grow and seek other opportunities, then I can do that shit. Shit that you were scared to do or for that you were fearful to do before, you're no longer going to be scared to do that shit. You're going to go ahead and take that leap of faith from what you need to do and be successful with it. Not saying that it's not going to be struggles along the way because it's going to be worth working for. It's going to be hard motherfucking work. But it's going to be worth it. Period. Yes, 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 yes. Two of cups. Yes, 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 yes. 
I see, yes, reconciliation, partnership, all of that, whether, whether that's in your, within yourself or whether that's within the counterpart. It doesn't even really matter. It's all about you. That's period. And you're realizing that shit. It's all about you. It's all about taking these risks. It's always be about being very passionate in whatever you do. And it's all about your talent because you're very talented. There's no reason to be stuck or stagnant. There's no reason for you to like overthink a certain situations whenever. It's all about you. All you have to do is put, the for put forth the action and go towards it. And you're going to get... The balance. You're going to get the balance. You're going to be six of pentacles. You're going to be getting that equal give and take, y'all. I'm really feeling this one. Some Somebody has realized. Nine of swords, ten of wands. Okay, so there's been a lot of burdens. There's been a lot of responsibilities. And you have been working hard, okay? There's been a lot of worrying about what other people think, how other people may view you. And that shit is no longer there, right? There's been a lot of suffering. There's been a lot of anxiety. There's been a lot of overwhelm. Over overwhelmness, right? What is this? What is this? Okay. Then we have the Eight of Swords. The we have motherfucking Temperance here, so we have Balance here twice, right? And like the and then the Emperor. Okay. So you may be trying to gain your stability. You may be trying to get some self control. You may be very protective, but and practical at the same time. Ain't shit wrong with that. You're letting go of anything that no longer served you. The Hangman. You're seeing different viewpoints. You're understanding that it's all about transitioning and understanding everything within you to grow and to learn, right? And then we have the Eight of Swords here. So you're realizing that a lot of shit that you were stagnant on was because of yourself. It's because of what you allowed. And it's also because of you not completely and honestly and wholeheartedly letting your guard down and, and just putting that trust towards your signs and your synchronicities and spirit. what spirit has always been telling you and guiding you to do. You didn't want to do that because it, it was very scary. Any, like, whenever you take that leap of faith, it's not going to just be like, okay, Spirit's telling me this, I'm seeing these signs. It's still going to be scary as fuck, y'all. It's the real world. We have real responsibilities. It's going to be scary. It's going to be scary. All those things that are exposed to you become very much more clear, and, and you're, like, worrying about this, whether this is going to happen, this, this, and that. But whenever the, you're, this is so clear to you, you're realizing you have to take that leap of faith. Sometimes, even in... Not sometimes, all the time, even when we're scared, we still have to do that shit. That fear, that fear of something that's not even really real is just some fear that we put in our minds that fear is just an illusion. It's all an illusion. That's what I'm trying to say. Fear is an illusion, okay? So we have to go ahead and get through that illusion, however we may have to get through it, and go ahead and go towards our joy because our joy is right there. High Priestess, yes, confirmation. High Priestess, and then the Devil, and then the Star, and then the Moon, and then the Queen of Pentacles, and then the Four of Swords, and then the Four of Cups, okay? So it's like you were getting those, um, those intuitive nudges. You've been getting those intuitive nudges, but it's like the Devil is the fear, right? The inconsistency is the fear, the unpleasant situations. All of that shit is of the Devil. Any of this shit that's hidden from you is deceptive behaviors. Any of that shit that you're thinking in your head that you cannot go ahead and overcome that's of the devil you have to get out of that shit because you're the motherfucking star you may have gone through a lot of difficult phases but as long as you follow your aspirations and have that hope that you have bright prospects and that's on period it may take some meditation it may take some self-work it may take some spiritual baths it may take you going out into nature and getting um healing it may take you having a journal it may take you have having time with yourself but it's within you and you're, you know that you've been nothing but discontent. You know you've been uninspired with not truly following this. Whatever you've been stagnant on, whatever you've been stuck on, whatever signs, whatever synchronicities, whatever has been coming to you, you have to realize that it's for you and only you. And how you do it is not going to be the same way as how somebody else do it. And it's you. It's all because of you. All right, all right, all right. Anything you've been stuck, anything you've been stagnant on, anything you've been wanting to do but haven't been doing and been wavering on, it's time for you to pick up that shit. Pick up your shit and get your shit together and just reconcile with yourself among your mind and, and know that you know that you know that you know that you, that you can control that shit, that you have the power in your hands to go ahead and manipulate that energy and control that shit to your greater good. Okay, collective. Don't forget to get your energy in. Y'all know I'll be passionate about my shit now. I'm passionate about y'all. I know that you could do it.
It's hard to do some shit sometimes because we get so stagnant and so stuck in our heads. But guess what? You can do that shit and it's all up to you. Don't forget to get your energy in and like, comment, and subscribe for all of your manifestation needs as well. So personals, head on over to my website, energyolc.com. The link will be in the description box below. As always, peace, love, and namaste.